Hello YouTube, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and this is another Animated Movie Month uh, review. And this is of the 2017 animated computer animated comedy that was reviled by critics. It was panned by almost everybody that saw it. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen, and I know it's shocking. The Emoji Movie from 2017. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I know people are going to be like, wow, you saw that? How dare you? I'm like... It's an animated film that's only about 90 minutes long, well, 86 minutes long. Is this the worst animated movie I've ever seen? Oh, God, no. I've seen way freaking worse from Disney and from Pixar. And for, yes, even Pixar, one of the greatest animated studios of all, did some boring movies like The First Cars. I thought that movie was way worse because I was bored. This film is not for everybody. I knew that going in. I saw when I saw the trailer years ago. But I don't hate this movie. I know I should rip this movie apart. You can't find anything good in it. There's some good in this movie, trust me. It's not as bad as, as it seems. This movie costs $50 million. That's sh smaller than half of the animated movies that came out this year, like Ugly Dolls and and um, uh, what was it? That Norman the North sequel and 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 uh, Missing Link. Yeah, it didn't cost $100 million. It only cost 50 and it made $217 million worldwide. Wow. And this isn't even the worst Sony movie. I think Venom is worse because I, I was nauseated by Venom. So basically the whole movie takes place in this kid's phone. And uh, there's a bunch of emojis that are there. Uh, TJ Miller does the voice of, uh, of meh, the meh emoji uh, gene, that he wants, he, he's going to be deleted because he's, he gives the wrong facial emoji. And he's like, oh, uh, uh and he wants to, you know, he doesn't want to get deleted. So he finds uh, uh, a bunch of other emojis to try to help him to get, you know, the, the right face. So, so, you know, he can fix the kid's phone. But anyway, yeah, the film, it says, based on emoji faces, smile, smileys, and graphics using electronic messages. And I get it now, Sony. People live on their phone now. Every time I walk around uh, town, I see freaking people on their phones, on the, on the bus, on the trains, or walking down the street. People are phone drones. I get it. And I, I like the voice cast, well, for the most part. I like T.J. Miller as meh. I like uh, Anna Faris as the princess. Ooh, I spoil it. Yeah, she's the girl that plays the princess. Uh, Maya Rudolph is all right, even though she plays a creepy smiley emoji. You got Steven Wright as meh, and he has the most boring voice in the world, but it's still better than other actors. Jennifer Coolidge as the mother. Yeah, have Christina Aguilera. Well, you got a couple of people that I'm not a fan of. Sean Hayes is in the movie, but I forgot who he played. And Patrick Stewart, who plays the poop emoji. He's only in a few scenes. He's not wasted too much. He's only in a couple of scenes. He's not a main character. With the way they promoted him, I felt like he was going to be in the movie a lot longer. But no. Uh, now, uh, it was named several media outlets as the worst film of this of 2017. No, it's not, guys. I've seen much worse. The Mummy with Tom Cruise was worse. Yeah. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. That was worse. Transformers, The Last Night. That was long, boring, and way worse. The worst thing that you can do for me is bore me. And this movie didn't bore me. It's mental. It's dumb. It has a lot of crazy, flashy imagery, but it w didn't bore me. And uh, the film, you know, the, the animation is not that bad. I like the CGI animation. The animators deserve, uh, deserve a hand. It's not bland animation. I, I like the animation for what it is. And, uh, yeah, it's not the worst movie ever made. Like, guys, I've seen movies done on, on micro, uh, micro budgets that were, were looked worse than this. If you've seen Food Fight, that's a worse movie than that. That movie cost $65 million. And, uh, yeah, it got... Four Razzies, and I, I don't think it's the worst movie ever. I mean, the director, Tony Leonidas, let me see what he did. He did uh, The Lion King 2. I'm, I wasn't even a fan of that. Prince of Egypt, that's a good movie. Rotel Dorado, that's worse. Home on the Range, that Disney movie where the cows sing and dance. Uh, Kung Fu Panda, Secrets of the Masters, which is a short. Igor, Kronk's New Groove, which I think is a stupid sequel. Yeah. Hit or miss, but he's not even the worst director I've ever seen. And while the movie made money, again, 
I know a lot of people why they didn't want to see this movie. They said, "Oh, it's the worst thing ever. It's just a, it's just a, a freaking ninety minute, uh, eighty six minute commercial for, uh, you know, for a product placement for Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Candy Crush and YouTube and Just Dance and all that." I get it, guys. I live in the digital world all the time. Look, but yeah. I'm reading the thing, and I'm like, yeah, there's some people that are not actors here. Sofia Vergara, she's not in it that much. She was not even the worst part of the movie. Usually she is, but she's just there. Uh, Christina Aguilera, she plays this dance uh, instructor in the Just Dance game, and she sings in the soundtrack. That's all she's there for. And the worst part of this movie is James Corden as the hand. He is annoying in the entire freaking movie. I wanted him to die in the first five minutes. Just like the hobo in, in The Force Awakens, as soon as you hear him talk, you just want him to shut the hell up. I'm like, this guy is so annoying, he, he almost ruined some of the film for me. The best scenes are when he's not there. He's a, a freaking high five fan, a hand with a freaking bandage on his finger, and everything he says is annoying. He's loud and obnoxious, and he talks too much, and he won't shut up. He's just so annoying. And I never liked him as an actor. There's a reason I didn't see Peter Rabbit, guys. Because James Corden is, is not funny to me. He's some fat schlub of a Brit that can't act and is not funny. Oh, my. This is him the whole time. Oh, I'm a hand. I say, talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. That's him for the whole freaking movie, guys. If there was something that annoyed me in the movie, it was him. And you know why? Because of my bias. He's not a voice actor, guys. He's annoying. I wish he was not in the freaking movie because he's just ungodly annoying. Maya Rudolph as Smiler, he, she wasn't that bad. I mean, she tries what she did. Sean Hayes was the devil emoji. Yeah, interesting. Rachel Ray was spam. Jake T. Austin was a human kid. Uh, Taddy Gabri G Gabriel did was Addy. She's on the 100 and the Netflix show Ch Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So she went on to do something better. So don't complain too much. But yeah, James Corden, here's, a, here's an emoji for you. The middle finger. Go screw yourself. Never do voice acting again. You're annoying, mate. But anyway, yeah, the story's fine. Yeah, it takes elements from Wreck-It Ralph and Inside Out and Toy Story. But is it, is it painful to watch? Not really. I mean, for the guy that has ADD, it's seen worse. Yeah, it, it, it kept me interested for a while. I like the animation. Some of the voice cast is really trying. That's all I can say. I, I'm not going to say, oh, this movie's the worst day fucking is it? It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. You have to try harder compared to the movies that I've sat through in this decade. Yeah. Like Son of the Mask and freaking um, Manos the Hands of Fate, Howling 7, so, uh, freaking um, Devil Doll. There's a lot worse freaking movies than this. Would I see this movie again? Maybe. I mean, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. And it didn't waste my time. It was only 86 minutes long. It went by quick. It wasn't painful and boring. The only scenes I would cut out was with the hand. You could have replaced it with anything else. And you could have easily made, made a better... You know, the movie could have been a lot uh, better without him. And while the critics panned it... Hey, I'm not really a fan of critics anyway. They panned Venom and that was worse than this. Because that made more money and that was boring and uneventful and just a waste of time. And uh, I, some of the puns made me laugh. Yeah, sue me. The cup of coffee is like, I'm a cup coffee. That made me laugh. There was another scene that made me laugh or chuckle or smile. Uh, the Twitter bird, when she whistles and it comes out, I'm like, yeah, I get it. I, I'm on Twitter a lot, but I'm not an asshole there. And, uh, you know, the, the ice cream emoji and the cats with the hearts in their eyes. I smiled a couple of times. The money, the money, the the, the dollar signs in, in the in uh, Jean's eyes. Yeah, I get it. Sony wanted to make money, and you succeeded. And I know people are going to be like, wow, you should have destroyed this movie. It's the worst animated movie ever made, really. It's worse than, than Pocahontas 2 or Food Fight. It's worse than freaking, uh, you know, the, the, the Christmas tree. That Christmas movie that, that was made in, like, I don't know, what, the 90s or the 2000s? That's, that's way worse than this. That has people that can't act. And they sound like they're... Like bored out of their mind. Here, I was entertained for what the little, the, the, what little it gave me. All things considered, I liked, I liked it on an ironic level. Like, yeah, it's stupid how people are always on their phones and then they made a movie about it. Hey, nowadays they'll make a movie about anything, anything. 
And I could have seen a lot worse, guys. Bring it on. I could see a lot worse from you, Sony. Your Morbius movie will be worse if it's disappointing. And, uh, yeah. And people said, you should have ripped this movie apart. It's not. The, it's the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's a movie that kids shouldn't watch. If a kid watches this, it's not going to kill them, guys. Trust me. Watching this once, watch at your own risk. If you think it's bad for your kids, then don't let them watch it. If they have ADD like me and want to watch something animated, it, there's nothing offensive. It's not Sausage Party. It's not going to hurt their ears. It's a one watch, at least. I recommend it once for kids. At least once. It's not going to make them dumber. I've seen worse from Sony. Like I said, the Smurfs, too. Them Busters is probably worse than this. And that's two hours long. And there's other movies coming out this year that are going to be worse. Like Charlie's Angels. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Woke Angels. If Sonic the Hedgehog came out in November, that would be worse. And like I said, it's not the biggest failure of the world. Just like Last Airbender, this is not the worst movie of the decade. Not even in the last 20 years. It's not. Like, the reception this got, I'm like, God, what, did the, the creator shoot your dog or something? Lighten up a little bit. It's just an 86-minute commercial for for apps on your phone. What's the problem here? I've seen documentaries less more painful than this. Now, uh... This won't even be in my dishonorable mentions. I'm like, it's a one watch, guys. It's not the worst thing ever. This Some movies are just not meant for critics. They're meant for people like me that just give a movie a shot. If a movie bores me, then it's a waste of my time. But there's some fun things in it for what it is. So some of the, the animation and some of the ideas and the, the, the references. It made me smile. Sue me. And I've seen worse, animated and live action. And if you've seen this movie and didn't like it, I can't blame you, but I'm not going to say it's the worst movie I've ever seen. It's not. It's not the worst movie of 2017. It's not the worst movie of the last 10 years. It's not the worst animated movie. It's not even the worst Sony movie. And they've made some terrible freaking decisions Stealing Spider-Man from us and making Venom and remaking Ghostbusters with women, which was a mistake because they made it unfunny and a pandering propaganda piece. And like I said, not every movie is for critics. Yeah, I went there. Not every movie is for critics. I was not expecting this movie to get critically acclaimed. It's a freaking emoji movie. What did you expect? But you know what? I didn't hate the movie. For what it was, the pretty colors, the animation is fine. It's not the, oh my god, this is so unwatchable. Uh, some of the voice cast is trying. Uh, it didn't make me cringe, except for James Corden's god-awful accent. Because, mate, you're not funny. I said that already. And, uh, yeah, just en enough with the freaking, you know, casting Brits in these movies. They're not funny. If they're not going to be funny... You know, there's a scene where he eats all this candy and he gets addicted and he's hyperactive and gets in a sugar rush. I'm like, yeah, that was annoying. But the animation's fine. Anyway, that's what I think of the Emoji movie. It's not, it didn't hurt me. It didn't steal my soul. It didn't leave me empty like The Force Awakens did. I wasn't bored out of my mind like Rogue One or the Transformer sequels or the Mummy with, with uh, Tom Cruise. Like I said, people have been, had bigger budgets that done worse damage than this movie. Trust me. I know. I have a, a list of movies of over 7,000 movies and about a, a third of them made me cringe or make me vom um, vomit or make me sick to my stomach. So I give it a pass for a one watch. It didn't kill me. I survived. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next review. Hopefully uh, something that didn't get as panned and Something that was, you know, re uh, either more recent or something from a couple years back. But anyway, thanks for watching. And if you see this movie, you'll won't. Re you, you, I, I I don't know if you'll regret it or not. That's up to you. But watch at your own risk. If not, I understand. But I didn't hate it, so that's all I can say. Later.